Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. Today I'm very excited to check it out Uno Dominoes from International Games. This is for two to six players, ages seven plus, and the time length will depend on whether or not you're playing a single game or whether you're playing a point game. But in Uno Dominoes, they took Uno and they took Dominoes and they mushed them together. Now, it is mostly Uno mechanisms, but with Domino tiles. So if you like Uno and you like Dominoes, this should be a no-brainer, right? But is it? Let's open it up. I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Uno Dominoes. So first and foremost, we're going to get a handy dandy bull sheet. It's one really long sheet, double-sided. It's got some pictures, some illustrations. There's color, even though you don't really need the color that much. And it's very well done. It should have you up and running in no time at all. Also, if you've played Uno and if you've played Dominoes, the rules should come fairly easy to you. So in Uno Dominoes, you are going to start with six of these tiles right here. And your goal is to get rid of all the tiles in front of you. Eventually, when you get down to just one tile you'll say uno and if you don't there'll be a penalty just like regular uno first person to get rid of all their tiles will either win the game or everyone else will score points depending on if you're playing a single game or if you're stretching it out to go to a certain number of points so let's go over the components let's get in the gameplay now before i get started i do want to mention that the game actually comes with six racks to hold your uh, your your dominoes so it'd be something like this i do not have those it did not come with it so you're gonna have to imagine that my hand is the rack and my hand broke so now we don't have a rack next you're gonna get these uno tiles and they are single sided and they're gonna have numbers on them and these numbers will be different colors just like regular uno also, some of them are going to have words on them, like draw two, or reverse, or wild, draw four, or skip, or just regular wild. Stuff you would see in Uno. So to first start off the game, you're going to say, uh, all right, does anyone have the nine doublet? And the doublet is one of the ones with double numbers on it. And that person would go first. Does anyone have the eight doublet, the seven doublet, the six doublet? The first person to play is going to be the person who has the highest doublet. And you start at the top, and then you work your way down. So we'll just pretend that somebody played this right here, and it's my turn next. <clears throat> so I have a couple different choices. The first thing that you can do is you can play on all the different sides. So I'm just going to show you the illustration. So you can play right here, 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 or here. So it does kind of open it up. So for me personally, I could play right here and I could play a six right here because the the colors match. And so then the next person would have to play a red, a red, an eight or a red, or a green or a seven. So simple enough there. The next person might go and they might go, ha ha, draw two. So they just played a draw two red to draw two so now i would have to draw two tiles we'll pretend we'll just play in a two-player version of the game and then it would go back to being his turn because when someone plays a negative card against you your turn is always skipped so if somebody skips you obviously your turn is skipped somebody draw twos you or draw fours you your turn is skipped so now let's say the next person has this and they might go right here so they have matched the red with the two red right there and then i'll go ahead and go and i'll go uh ha ha skipped you so I just skipped him. So now it's back to me. And then I might go, ha ha, skip you again. And because I just played a skip on the skip. Doesn't match colors, but it does match the numbers. Uh, so let's just continue to go. And then I'll go right here. The next guy might go and he would go. Let's see what he's got. He's got the skip. So he might, ha ha, skip. Green on green. And then he might go, skip again. Ha ha. But as you can see, uh, it's going to start extending out. And it's going to start extending outward. And you're going to continue to play like this until someone eventually only has one tile left. When they have one tile left, they have to say, Uno. Uh, and if you don't say Uno, there is going to be a penalty. Uh, he draws another, he takes two dominoes, and then you continue on going through the game. Eventually, someone is going to get rid of all their tiles. When someone gets rid of all of their tiles, the game will be over. And either that person wins, or everyone with tiles remaining is going to score points for your tiles. So for each draw two, reverse, and skip, you're going to get uh, 10 points. For each wild and draw four, you're going to get 20. For each wild, you get 20. And for all numbered, you're going to get the face value on it. So this would be worth six points right here. Anywho, you'll continue to go until someone uh, gets to X amount of points and the person with the lowest score wins the game, or you'll just start up a new game. But that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to do with Uno Dominoes. Alrighty then, Uno Dominoes from International Games. One of my final thoughts, let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons, 
First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. First and foremost, if you do not like Uno, this game is not going to be for you. And I will say that this game borrows more from Uno than it does from Dominoes. The Dominoes part of the game is mostly, I mean, you're obviously going to have some Domino-esque aspects to this game, but it still is more Uno than it is Domino. I'd say it's 70, I'd say it's like 70-30 Uno to Domino. So if you don't like Uno, this game's not for you. Just plain and simple, if you do not like Uno, this game will not be a good game for you. If you do not like Dominoes, but you love Uno, <clears throat> I still think you can enjoy this game because it is primarily Uno, but with a twist. That being said, the twist was not enough for me. I don't think this is a great game. I don't think this is a terrible game. I just think this is an okay game. And in a generation that we are in now, where there's tons and tons and tons of great and spectacular and fantastic, okay is just not going to cut it. And I say this in all my reviews that I say are okay games. This is not a game that I can really recommend to too many people because it's, it's such a niche. It really is. This is for people who love Uno and and pretty much just want to mix it up from time to time from the regular game of Uno. And if you are that person, then yes, I would recommend you check out Uno Dominoes. I think you'll get a kick out of how different it is or how different it feels from your typical game of Uno. If you are not that person, then no, I can't really recommend this game to you. Any other cons I have the game? You know, the box, I don't really like the shape of the box, but that's more of a minor nitpick. And can't comment on the racks because I don't have the racks. Moving on to the pros, I mean, it's, it is it is pretty much what you expect it to be. You see the word Uno, you know there's not going to be too much strategy, and this game doesn't have that much strategy. Now, I will say, I believe there is slightly more strategy than your typical game of Uno just because of the domino placement, and you can kind of block people off from certain numbers based on the choices you make from time to time, but I don't want you to think this is some nuanced version of Uno. It's still a very straightforward, light game. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. So in the end, Uno Dominoes, here's what I have good to say about the game. I like the components. These are very thick. These are very sturdy. Uh, this thing's been around 20, 30 years, and this, uh, the, the imprint is not starting to wear off. It's easy to learn. It's easy to teach. And for kids that I played this with that really enjoy Uno, they really enjoyed this game. <clears throat> for the kids I played it with who are not so hot on Uno, they were not so hot on this game. So it makes it a very easy recommendation. If you love Uno, I think you will like this game. If you don't love Uno, I don't think you will like this game. There you go. For me personally, I think Domino's is okay. I think Uno is okay. So I think this game's okay. Will I be keeping it? No, I'm going to give it away to one of the kids in my classroom. So, in the end, Uno Domino's. Very simple review. If you like Uno, you want to mix it up from time to time, yeah, check it out. Everybody else, no, don't check it out. I don't think it's worth your time. So it is Uno Dominoes from International Games, a game that tried to do something different, but I just don't feel like it did enough different. They didn't stray far enough from the Uno path, in my personal opinion, but then again, I'm not the target market for this game. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below or in the comments below. Let me know. What's a game that you would like to see a Domino version of that game? Ooh, that's a really interesting question. What about, this would be incredibly expensive, what about a domino deck building game where your goal is to get rid of all your cards or something like that or get to a certain number of points, but it mixed the domino mechanism with a deck building game. Mark my words, that is going to be a hot game in the next five to ten years. Someone is going to come up with that game. I think that would be a really interesting mashup right there. But let me know in the comments below. If you could make any game a deck building game, what would you do? Ooh, what about a worker placement game where the dominoes are actually spaces? The dominoes work as both spaces, but they also serve as actions. So you're going to be moving around the board, and the board is you placing dominoes down. So it would be a worker placement domino game. Oh my gosh, I wish I was a better game designer, because then I could actually kind of pencil out some cool design. But let me know in the comments below what I just asked. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.